Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Ralph Michaels and Dave Koken of wagertalk.com. Guys, we're talking ACC championship action here. We got number two versus number three, talking the Clemson Tigers and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. This one going off in Charlotte, North Carolina with the Clemson Tigers. Minus 10 and a half point favorites here, Ralph. We got a total of 60 ACC championship. What are you thinking with this uh, big time matchup on Saturday, Ralph? Well, when you have when you have a guy named Dabble Sweeney on the sidelines, Clemson in December is thirteen and zero straight up, twelve and one against the spread. And I ran some numbers just so people have them. Uh, I went back through the database. Not nothing, nothing really telling. But in the same season, revenge teams that lost as the favorite straight up, like Clemson did, like mm -hmm. uh, Louisiana Lafayette did, and like Oklahoma did against Iowa State. They are 16 and 12, 57% against the spread. So they have covered more than they haven't. Um, to be honest with you, I lean Clemson, but I think there's more value with the over. Uh, I, I like what the Irish did those last couple drives against Clemson to go down the field. Um, uh, you know, Clemson's offense, I think, actually has pulled off the, the gas pulled off the gas a little bit late. You know, the 45 they had against Virginia Tech, they were satisfied and they ran the ball 30 times. They didn't keep throwing the ball. They ran 38 times against Pitt and still put up 52 points. So uh, I lean Clemson in the rematch, but uh, my definite opinion in this game is on the over. Dave, interested in your thoughts here. I mean, some good stats there in terms of 57% in, in the rematch for the losing team. But, um, you, you know, talking about Dabo Sweeney here, great coach, no doubt about it, Dave. But uh, Brian Kelly on Notre Dame's side, you know, he's no slouch either. What are you thinking here with the Irish and Tigers on Saturday? Well, I think the line's high, and it was intentionally made that way. The odds makers recognizing that uh, the public is going to buy into the uh, revenge aspect, and the public's also going to look at this and say, well, look, Notre Dame might be in if they lose. Clemson certainly has to win the game to be in the playoffs. As great as they are, a second loss to Notre Dame, and they're playing in some other bowl game and not the playoffs. So you've got this built into the number. Uh, I projected the game at seven. So I do think there's value on the Notre Dame side uh, at this number. Also, uh, you're looking at a situation where um, Notre Dame fits an interesting angle. Uh, Involves teams, and this is only a late season angle. Got to have a lot of games in, but underdogs that have covered, or excuse me, underdogs that have won the stats in every game, and are now installed as underdogs, they generally do pretty well. Also, Notre Dame's going to fit on a rushing angle that I like, which is a team that outrushes their opponent by more than two to one yards per game. Clem uh, Notre Dame does that, and. Uh, these teams as underdogs perform quite well. And I think that Notre Dame running game is really a key here. The attention is going to be on Ian Book with good reason. But Williams is a tremendous running back. Uh, he's averaged close to six yards a carry. He scored 12 times this year. Tyree's a good back as well. I think Notre Dame is going to give him a real ball game. I think Clemson's going to win. But I'm not so sure about the number. I would be in take the points mode in this one with the Fighting Irish. Yeah, take the points with the Irish. I'm with you, Dave. And just kind of final question to you, Dave, because I know that you uh, you know follow college football obviously very closely. With the change at the quarterback position from the freshman now back to Trevor Lawrence, do you think that's adding a little tax here on Clemson, in your opinion? Well, that's built into the line as well. I mean, obviously, if uh, if Lawrence wasn't playing, you'd be looking at a line about a touchdown less than it is. Um, so I. No, I don't think but there's any extra tax that. for it. I mean, it's just the, no. the difference in quarterback rankings. Okay, makes total sense. So we got uh, Ralph <laughs> looking towards Clemson. Looks like Dave and I are uh, leaning towards the Irish in the points in the ACC championship game. Guys, in conclusion here, you see it at the bottom of the screen. We got the bowl package special for just $149. You get every single bowl game released from the handicapper of your choice at both Sports Memo and WagerTalk.com.